兰湛，你别听他的，我从来没有怪过你。<笑>好极了。那么接下来，请你将碧晨收回乔装。There are a few dramas that cast the biggest and hottest stars in the entertainment industry right now. There are the big blockbusters that you know will garner the most attention and media coverage in the coming months and years. And then there are those dramas that feature relative newcomers to the industry, but just explode onto the main screen with their memorable acting or stage presence. This video will be devoted to seven dramas that helped catapult their respective actors into the limelight. You'll want to watch this video to the very end because some of these actors and the dramas that they first gain attention for might surprise you. Okay, you guys, let's begin. Before we dive into our other lists, make sure you click subscribe and like to stay with us and get more content like this. Thanks. Number one, Shu Kai. The story of Yanshi Palace. It was only a few months before Shu Kai appeared on the story of Yanshi Palace that he had already dabbled in acting, having appeared in the historical costume drama Untouchable Lovers. Even before this, Shu Kai had his first acting experience in a drama in the now shelved but still highly anticipated. Zhao Ge, which was filmed all the way back in 2017 and hasn't even been aired yet. The story of Yanshi Palace was a whopping 70 episode series, but it was the first drama that really sent Shu Kai's name soaring into the spotlight. Human brain. 是不是啊，吴英洛 ？Number two, Chen Xingshu, Goodbye, My Princess. Goodbye, My Princess was 2019's dark horse drama, a series that nobody was really expecting, but turned out to be a solid drama. The series sent both the main leads into the limelight with their fantastic acting. Navigating us through a roller coaster of emotions. Goodbye, my princess had a lot of highs and a lot of lows, and Chen Xingshu's character was right there in the middle, making us feel empathetic towards his situation, but at the same time, making us hate his guts. The series really captivated us with its mercurial tone and very memorable visuals. Also, this drama was definitely the drama that put Chen Xingshu and Peng Xiaoran on the map, and if you watch it, you can really see why. Number three, Zhao Li Ying, The Legend of Lu Zhen. This one takes us back to 2013, while the story of Ming Lan and the legend of Chu Sen take us to the present day. It's hard to imagine Zhao Li Ying as anything but one of the biggest C drama actresses in the entertainment industry today. But all actors and actresses had to start somewhere, and Zhao Li Ying's story serves as a powerful reminder to the rest of us that those in show business. Often have to grind and work very hard to get where they currently are at. Number four, Bai Lu, the Legends. Okay. So Bai Lu first appeared in a historical drama called *The King Is Not Easy*, which could be seen as her first breakthrough role. It's a good drama, and you guys should really check it out. 
But Bai Lu in The Legends was what really made her noticeable to even international fans. Her demon look in The Legends alongside Shu Kai was instantly noticeable. And the artistry with which the drama was filmed can be described as cinematically meticulous. Number 5. Alan Yu, Go Princess Go Maybe you know him from the drama Love Last Two Minds, alongside Yuki Chen. But it was not too long ago that Alan was starting out as a supporting actor. Even long before his appearance in Eternal Love, 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms as the fourth brother, the first drama in which he started getting some attention was in 2015 with Go Princess Go. Now this drama is undoubtedly low budget, but that's what makes it brilliant. It proves that a drama does not need a massive budget in order to be entertaining. Number 6. Xiao Zan, The Untamed The Untamed needs no further explanation, and I know I will get flack from Wang Yibo fans for focusing more on Xiao Zan. But The Untamed undoubtedly propelled both actors onto the main stage. Within just a few weeks of the airing of this drama, Wang Yibo and Xiao Zhan shot up to become one of the most sought after and most talked about actors in the Chinese entertainment industry. The chemistry between the two main leads, combined with the starkly different character foils between the pairs, lead to a massive following for the series. Most of the time, an actor will try to become the character in his or her script. And while that is acceptable, and can still lead to a great show, what Xiao Zhan did was really make the character defined by him. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it leads to spectacular results. What I can think of that would be similar would be Johnny Depp from the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Similarly here, these two actors have taken their characters and made them their own. There's simply no one else who could play the same character and exude the same kind of energy or aura as the original actor. There's really no surprise here why The Untamed propelled Wang Yibo and Xiao Zhan into the spotlight. Number 7. Yang Mi's Palace. The Lockheart Jade. Last but not least, let's talk about another behemoth name in C-drama entertainment. Like Zhao Li Ying, it's hard to imagine Yang Mi as anything but a top drama actress. But she has been around in the C-drama line for a long time and has worked very hard for everything she has accomplished. She was in Chinese Paladin before, but the very first time that I specifically remember her was in 2011 in Palace of the Lockheart Jade. Alongside Feng Xiaofeng, who also first gained my attention in this drama. The Palace or the Lockheart Jade is an excellent reminder to all of us of Yang Mi's journey to get to where she is today. <laughs> And there you have it, 
seven Chinese actors whose lives changed after one role. Did you guys first notice these actors and actresses from the same drama too? Or did you start following them from somewhere different? Just comment down below. And if you want more videos like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Topless Drama. See ya!